Boy, they don't make cars like they used to. I hear that all the time. But what if I told you that a car was supposed to look like this when it was in a crash? That's right, they're supposed to crumple up like this to keep you safe. And if you think you were safer in an older great big car, take a look at this video showing an old car smashing into a new car. As you can see, the driver of the older car would absorb a lot more of the energy from the crash, while the driver of the newer car would not. So what makes a new car safer? They have airbags, of course, on newer cars, but they also have what's called crumple zones. And that's part of the actual unibody structure of the vehicle. These frame rails right here will actually crush when the car gets in an impact, and that will absorb a lot of that energy from the collision. When the crumple zones crush like they're supposed to, it may appear to you that the car was flimsy and did not hold up very well. But the reality is that the car did what it was supposed to do by absorbing as much of the crash's energy as possible. If it didn't do that, guess who would have absorbed a lot more energy from the crash? That's right, the occupants of the car. Another part of the car is the passenger compartment, and it's kind of the opposite of the crumple zones. The passenger compartment is designed with high strength steel, and it basically forms a box around the passengers inside the car. That's designed to keep other vehicles from penetrating into the side of you if you get in a crash. So you've got the crumple zones in the front and the rear, and the passenger compartment in the center, which is high strength steel to keep you safe. There are two different types of systems, but they're both designed with one thing in mind, and that's your safety out on the road. For Channel 6 News, I'm Jim Champion, the Auto Guy.